Right over here, our pool is 77 degrees and we want to warm it up. So we're going to show you how to use this Raypack pool jacuzzi heater. It's actually jacuzzi. You take off the leaves first. Make sure it's all out of these vents because it's going to be hot once you turn this on. You won't be wanting to move the leaves later. Okay. Filters on, always. Oh, there's the snake. You want to turn this valve so the water is off right now. And now it's letting water in. Before it was blocked off and it was going straight back to the pool. Right here you want to make sure the gas is straight. We always leave that on. And right here, it's going to start priming. It says 80 because that's because there was some warm water in the in the thing. It should go down to 77 in the pipes. See it's going down now, 79. 78, it might even go to 77, let's see. And you can see it's now heating the, ign the ignition lighted. Control the temperature down, 82. We can see it's 76 degrees. We have it fired up right now. It'll okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it's now almost 78 degrees. It's about 77 right now, within 45 minutes right now. This one says 79, but it's really 77. I'm not sure why it's off by two degrees. I thought it would say 78, because it was before it was off by one degree. Now it's off by two degrees in the sun. It's now an hour and 15 minutes, and it's saying 80 degrees. I'm not sure why. It should be 78, 79. It's saying 78 degrees on this thermometer, almost 79. An hour and 45 minutes and it's still heating. It says 81 degrees, but it's really 80 and a half degrees. It jumped up from 77 to 81, four degrees. Usually it's only one degree an hour, but it was really 78 and it's really 80 degrees now. Okay, it says it's 82 degrees and now it's two hours and a half. And you can see it's gonna go to 83 and then it's gonna cycle off for about 20, 30 minutes when it hits 83. And then, cause it's really 82 and a half, it has to circulate around and then it'll cycle back on like a thermostat. You can see here is the actual temperature. It said 82 on the thermostat, and this one's saying 81 degrees right there. It's off by a degree. Well, we're in the shade now. Now it says it's 83 degrees. Okay, 520, and you can see I told you the other thermometer was correct. It's 82 degrees. Uh, I don't know if I missed it. It might have shut off for 15, 20 minutes to recirculate, but it was really 82 on the other thermometer. Now it's recalibrating. Okay, I'm still going in the pool now because we had it on from 120 to 5 to 4 hours and so I want to make sure I'm still going and I'm not going to change my mind at the last minute running it for 4 hours so I'm definitely going in now and also in the landscapers they might come in an hour because they missed the last two days because of rain and I thought they would come this morning because they missed yesterday but they didn't so they might come tonight so I want to make sure I go in before they come here then I don't want to get out when they get here because of the gas fumes. If I wait a half hour, hour, when it hits 83 or 82 and a half, I might have to wait 20-30 minutes for the heat to come back, to cycle back on. And I want to go in the pool at, for the first time as the heat's on because the first time you want to get warmed up. Oh, I just missed it. It says no demand. I wanted to catch, catch the heat before the next cycle, but I was netting the pool for 5-10 minutes so I missed it. So I guess in 20-30 minutes it'll come back on. Okay, it's now 5.52. It took me about, the heat just cycled back on. It took me about 2 minutes to dry off to get my phone and now I'll show you it's heating again. You can see it says heating again and the temperature is 82. So the, it was on for about three and a half hours then it cycled off for about 20 minutes then it came back on when i was out here and then it shut off as soon as i was getting in and now the last 20 minutes of swimming it was off and now it's back on this might be the second time it cycled back on it may have cycled off two times and on three times now 612 and the heater just cycled off again either the second or third time i'm confused now i'm not sure but it could be the third time it cycled off and the next time it comes on will be the fourth it was on at 5.50, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20. It was on for 22 minutes, approximately 20 minutes. You could see it says no demand. It's, set for, it's 83 in the pool. but it Okay, it's now 6.35. It's off by 3 minutes. I thought it was going to come on at 6.32. So it's not exactly 20 minutes, but it's very close to 20 minutes. And also, 
It should be coming on more frequently now because the temperatures are way below 80. It's now 76 and it's going to go down to 72, 74 in the next hour. You can see it's heating again now at uh, 5, 635. It's 82, it says in the pool still, and it's set for 83 still. It hasn't changed in the last hour and a half since I've been in it. Okay, it's now 6.48, it just turned off again, and now looks, I think that's the end of the swim, it's getting kind of cold out, well, it feels cold even though the air temperature is only like 73, 74, but when you come at 83 degrees, it's like an 8 to 10 degree temperature, a cool temperature change when you get out of the water. Okay, it says, hold on, pool set 83, no demand, I'm gonna turn it off now, we're done swimming, that was great. A great swim. I'm gonna leave the water circling through the heater for five, ten minutes to cool it down, and then ten minutes later I'll turn the filter off right over there, and I'll switch that back to off. I'll close the valve. 